This is the Anchor Prime Charging Station, an awesome brand new 240 watt 8-in-1 desktop charger. I've been using the previous generation Anchor Prime Station ever since it was announced and absolutely love it. I take it with me as part of my backpack charging kit every time I leave the house. I cannot wait to get this unboxed. I'd like to point out here that I am not sponsored by Anchor. I purchased all of these with my own money. Although Anchor, if you'd like to sponsor me, we'd be happy to have you. Call me. Let's get this thing open. Up top, we have the handy pull tab, which Anchor has been including on all of their boxes for quite some time. And then you've got another one on the bottom. Pull those out, pull this off. You can see there's a little bit of a size difference between these. And the reason for that is because they move some of the electronics out of the desktop charging unit and into the power brick, which I'll show you in a moment. The new Prime charging station moves the USB-A ports to the side and adds in two more USB-C ports, which is just awesome. I was on vacation last week and was trying to charge up all of my phone, laptop, drone batteries, mic batteries, camera batteries, etc. And I actually ran out of space on the old model and ended up plugging in another anchor charging brick into the outlets on top so that I would be able to have enough ports. Now with this new all-in-one unit, which is, wow, way lighter than that, I'm going to be able to do all of that without having to plug in and still have room for even more up top. Let's get into the rest of the box. Underneath you have the other half of the internals. Like I said before, they did separate this out, so this is where some of the weight went into the admittedly larger sized charging brick. Now on here you have a uh, similar cable to the other one. It is actually a little bit beefier, I think. Uh, no, it looks to be, yeah, a tiny bit beefier than the other one. The other thing that you're going to notice right away is, other than the fact that the brick is massive, you also have a new, much beefier, a new, much larger charging piece up top. Whereas on the previous generation, it was just a smaller three-pronged unit that went into the top looking like that. They've expanded that and now you have a much bigger piece over here, which just plugs in just like that. Easy peasy. So all together, holding them now, okay, yeah, sure, the weight is back. But by itself, this thing is significantly lighter without the charging brick, which is now going to be left down on the floor where you're plugging this into. Side by side, you can begin to see some of the differences, obviously, in the size and the height, as well as the buttons over here. The screen is a little bit newer, a little bit different on the newer one, which I'll plug in in a second and show you what that looks like. And of course, the change location of the USB ports. There is only one way this can go in, as indicated by the two lines on the top are supposed to be facing the top of the unit. One thing to note when plugging this thing in is that all of the heft is downward facing, which is good because it's going to reinforce against the wall and not block anything else on the outlet. However, if you're plugging into something like a power strip, you're going to want to make sure to plug into the bottom outlet or else you're going to end up blocking everything else on the power strip. Right away you can see the new animation there and new graphic for charging things. This is the old one. This is the new one. Now I'm actually charging my camera at the moment, so I'm going to take my USB cable and plug it in on the bottom here and show you what we see on the screen. It's a little bit bright in here. You can see the wattage on the new screen animation is ramping up there. And I believe, yep, if you hit the button on the side over here, you can switch your display so that you can see specifically the amount of wattage that's coming out of each of the individual ports, which is something I've been obsessed with lately and absolutely love seeing. So this is fantastic. This can output up to 140 watts per USB-C port, as long as you have a cable that will support it, which means that you can charge your MacBook Pro and your iPad and any other devices as fast as they can possibly go, of course, up to 140 watts. The USB-A ports on the side, however, are max output of 12 watts. The Anchor Prime charging station costs $159.99 and is available today. Amazon link in the description down below. Hit the like and subscribe buttons for more content like this. Thanks for watching.